All right, Simon now. Count occurrence of numbers. Write a program that prompts the user to enter the number of scores they would like to enter. Then reads the scores and determines how many scores are above the average, below the average, and equal to the average. So there are a couple of things we need to do. Reading the number of scores. Create an array of size equal to number of scores. Use a loop to read the numbers from the console and add to array. So we just did that with our other, our other um, program. Create a method that returns the average of the scores. We just did that as well. However, these methods will be a little bit different. Create a method that returns the number of scores greater than the average, lower than the average, and equal to the average. Then we want to create a method that displays all of that. Okay. So this one is actually a little bit easier than what we just did. And I'll show you why. New Java, Java application. Next. Assignment 9. Alright. So the first thing we need to do, and I'm going to go, I'm going to start at um, step 4. Create a method that returns the average of the scores. Again, we just did that. Public static double calculate average. Passing in our scores. From there, we have the double average equals zero, double sum equals 0, 0. And both of these would equal 0, 0.0 because they're doubles. Then we loop through our array in i equals zero, i is less than scores.length, i plus plus, and we sum up everything, sum plus equals scores at index i. We sum up all of those scores we have. Then, once we sum all of that up, our average equals sum divided by scores dot length. Right? Return average. We just did this on the previous one. Same exact method. All right. So the next one, create a method that returns the number of scores greater than the average. So, public, and we're just counting the number, so if we're counting something, that should be an integer. Public static int greater than average. Passing in our scores array. Right? So first we need to say double average equals we call our method that calculates the average, or else we have to calculate it again. Passing in our scores array. So now in this method, we have our average equal to whatever that method returns. Now let's loop through our array, or actually, before we loop, we need an int count equals zero. Right? That count would be however many are greater than the average. Now we loop through our array, int i equals zero, i is less than scores that length, i plus plus. We loop through the entire array, and we just check to see which ones are greater than the average. So if, sorry, if scores at index i is greater than average, add one to count count plus plus. Right? If it's greater than the average, that's all we're counting. Count plus plus. We add one to count. So count starts at zero. If that first score is greater than the average, count now equals one. Same thing over and over again. We're going to add one to count each time we find something greater than the average. And then we just return count. Greater than average, that's the same logic for less than average. So we could just copy and paste this. Instead of greater than average, we do less than average. And it's right here, instead of saying greater than average, we say less than average. Right? And that's our less than average method. Think about it even further. Our equal to average, same thing, equal 
equal to average. Instead of saying scores I greater than average, we would say equal to average, double equal signs, return count. And that's our three methods. The first one is greater than average. We have double average equals, we call our method, passing in our scores. We create a variable count to keep track of however many we've counted. Then we loop through our entire array and check if this current score or score at index i is greater than the average, count it, because that's what we want to do. Return that count. Down here, if that score is less than the average, count it, return the count. Down here, if that score is equal to average, count it, return the count. So those are our three methods that we needed to create. All right, I'm going to let this sit there for a second. So the last thing was create a method that displays the average score, the number of scores greater than the average, equal to, and less than the average, similar to how it's displayed below. So the average score is, there are blank scores less than the average, blank scores greater than, and blank scores equal to. So in order to print that out, we just need to have our system that out their print line statements, and then call our methods. All right. So public, static, void, we're not returning anything. Display scores, passing in our scores. And again, all we need is our system.out method. System.out.println, the average score is, call our method, calculate average, passing in our scores array. Then we do system dot out dot print line. Now we want to say however many scores are less than the average. There are right here. We call our method less than average, passing in our scores array. Scores less than average. Less than the average. And then pretty much just repeat this line two more times, calling our other two methods. So instead of less than, greater than, change the wording here, greater than average, equal to, and then change the wording here, equal to. Bam. So now that's our entire display scores array. I mean, method. We just have four print statements. The first one calls our calculate average method. The next three calls our other three methods for less than average, greater than average, and equal to average. Okay? Is this making sense so far? Let me know if it does. Yes. It is? Okay. All right. And so now we just need to prompt the user to type in the average, the, I'm sorry, the scores. So just like we just did on the other one, we do need a scanner. Scanner input equals new scanner. System.in. Again, you can either click over here on this, or you can do Control-Shift-I. On Mac, it is Command-Shift-I. Then we say, we prompt the user, system.out.println, or print, enter the number of scores. We just want to find out how many scores there will be. So then num scores, or actually num students, let's say that, enter the number of students, equals, and put dot next int. We read in the number of students. All right. Then we create an array of all those student scores 
to the size of however many students they typed in. Next, we prompt them to enter in the scores. Enter the scores. Just like we just did on the last program. Now we loop through. Missing the new keyword. Now we create a loop so that we can read in all of those scores and add it to our arrays or our, our current scores array. Num students I plus plus scores at index I equals input dot next int. We're reading in all those scores. Then lastly, we call, call our method passing in our scores. Just like we just did on the previous example. Exact same. That's why I was saying this one was a slightly easier because we have the same calculate average method and then we have this method greater than average where we're checking however many are greater than the average we're counting those but then we just pretty much repeat that method two more times for less than average and equal to average and then our display scores method we just display the average and then we call our other methods to display those All right. so that when I run this I hit run Enter the number of students. I want to say there are six students. Now I enter all those student scores. So 54, 98, 65, 45, let's see, 75, one more, 84. So the average is a 70. There are three scores less than the average, which was 65, 45, and 54. There are three scores greater than the average, which are 98, 75, and 84, and there are no scores equal to the average. So there you go. That was the full program.